Kia ora, whakalofa lahi atu, and no mai hoki mai. Welcome back to this week's Instagram Live, where the question is, what's some daily habits that can help me build a body confidence over time? And I absolutely love this question. It's such a good question. I know it will help so many. But I was thinking about it before I jumped on as well. I was like, oh, what are the steps I could kind of give? And honestly, I'm going to give you one thing to do. One thing. And if you do this one thing, I'm telling you right now, like if you do it, if you action it, it's actually going to change your life. Like literally. So we need to action this thing. And the thing that I want you to do is to stop talking <laughs> like actually like shut the fuck up stop talking stop talking shit about yourself we like i feel like it's so normalized that we disrespect ourselves we say things like i hate the way i look oh my tummy's so fat in this i'm so f uh, fat and ugly and disgusting i hate what i see in the mirror you know oh no i shouldn't eat this because I've been a fatty today. I can't eat this today. Oh, I've been so bad. I can't eat this. You know, you're talking shit about yourself and we've actually normalized it that it's okay. You know, how many times does your friend comment on her weight or, you know, someone around you comment on your weight and no one bats an eyelid? Like, we're just like, yeah, like I need to hide my body. I hate what I see in the mirror. Um, I'm a failure because I look like this. I don't deserve to feel good about myself because I look this way. I don't deserve to live the life of my dreams because I look this way. I'm so disgusting. Literally, I'm so gross and disgusting. That's the number one thing that all my clients have said when I've worked with them. I'm so gross and disgusting. So imagine how you show up every day. You're supposed to have body confidence and you keep telling yourself, I'm so gross and disgusting. How are you going to show up? You know, you're not going to be confident, right? So we need to filter ourselves. And this is the only time I'm going to tell you to filter yourself. Filter the words that come out of your mouth. You know, don't let them come out. It's that, that whole saying, like, if you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. Don't say the thing. Hold yourself back from saying the thing. Hold yourself back from saying, my body is such a mess. My body's disgusting. Oh, no, I can't wear that because my tummy's hanging out. Oh, no, my stretch marks. Oh, no, this and that. And pointing out all the things, looking in the mirror and being like, oh, my gosh, my arms are so fat. My thunder thighs. Oh, look at my big islander calf muscles, calves. You know, oh, my chubby cheeks, like all those things. It's like we need to filter ourselves. We need to stop saying things like this about ourselves. We need to stop disrespecting ourselves. It's like... Think about, you know, when you're like younger and your parents walk in the room and it's like, oh, you got to watch your behavior. Like you've got to make sure you're not swearing. Like these are actual swear words. You're swearing at yourself every day. You're disrespecting yourself every day. So stop saying those things. And I think it's way too normalized. And you'll notice the more that you start filtering, you'll notice, you'll start noticing every day how much you talk about it. Now, because I'm so self-aware and I've learned all of this, I've stopped talking shit about myself. I notice it when I'm around other people. I kid you not, every conversation I have, especially when it's with someone new, they're always commenting on their weight. They're always commenting on the way they look. They're always commenting on what they may have eaten that day. So it's like so normalized and we need to stop and we need to filter ourselves. Like we literally need to check ourselves. We need to be like, no, I'm not going to. We're going to hold ourselves back. We're going to filter ourselves from saying those things because it's not normal. It's not okay to talk shit about yourself. So if you do this, like if you actively do this every damn day, you show up intentionally and you're like, nope. I'm not going to say that about myself. You don't even have to say good things. Just don't say the bad thing. Watch your life change. Actually, like watch your life change. I guarantee you that. So stop talking shit about yourself. And then um, I'm going to leave you with that. But I think the next step for this, 
the next step that you would then go into is upgrading your language. It's actually like we have to learn a new language, a whole new language. You know, you might want to learn Samoan, you might want to learn Tongan, you might want to learn Te Reo Māori or Vangahau Niue. But it's like, this is the language. It's the language of how to love yourself. It's the language of how to speak highly about yourself. It's the language of how to be your fucking biggest cheerleader. That's the language a lot of us have not learned. So we need to upgrade our language. We need to learn this whole new language of love of ourselves. Um, but I wouldn't even go that far like to go into that. I just want you to start watching what you say every day. Filter your words. Filter the things that come out of your mouth. Filter saying that this is a bad food. Or I'm bad because I ate this. I'm bad because I ate that today. Oh, I shouldn't wear this. My tummy looks funny in this. My tummy's too big for this. I'm fat and disgusting and gross. And like, stop. Let's stop. So start filtering the words that come out of your mouth. Um, and you'll see, literally, I want you to check in with me. Do it for one day and check in with me and see how it goes. Because I know that it will change your freaking life. Hi, sis. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, I feel you. Self-sabotaging is real. Literally, you're not helping yourself by saying these words, saying these mean things about yourself. And you'll also notice, actually, I don't, I'm, I'm going to go into like a, because this leads into so many different things, so many different factors in your life. But I'm not even going to go there. I'm telling you right now, do this thing. Do it for one day. Do it for two days. Do it for seven days. Come back. Let me know how you go. I know it's going to change your fucking world. Thank you for being here, guys. That's it um, for today's live. Um, I'll see you next week. If you have any questions, drop them below. Um, yeah. Kaakite. Koikia.